Hey guys, Tyrope here, and today we're taking a look at applying DirectX to Vulkan to Company Furos 2. This has the potential to improve your frame rates and make the game run more smoothly. From my understanding, this works better with AMD graphics cards, and if you are more limited by your graphics card than your CPU. But the installation process is so fast and simple, even if you don't have that kind of hardware, I would encourage you to try it out for yourself. So to install this, come to this GitHub page to the latest release and download this file, the tar.gz. And then you can open this up with whatever you open these type of files with. In my case, I'm using WinRAR. Come into the folder and then we're using the 64-bit version. Now you need to go to wherever you have Company of Heroes 2 installed. In my case, it's on my F drive under Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Company of Heroes 2, and there you go. And since Company of Heroes 2 is a DirectX 11 game, we take these last two files down here, drag them in, and it's installed. Simple as that. You should do a performance test in Company of Heroes 2 to see if this actually benefits you. To achieve this, come to Menu, Options, Graphics, and then hit the Performance Test button. With my computer, I actually lost a little bit of performance using DirectX to Vulkan, though I don't think my hardware is well suited to this mod. In spite of this, I ended up using DirectX to Vulkan for around two weeks to try and get a subjective opinion on whether it improved smoothness. When it comes to stutters, on my system, it didn't feel like DirectX to Vulkan actually reduced the frequency at which they occurred but it did change how the stutters feel. Here is how stutters usually feel to me in Company of Heroes 2. The frame rate shoots down to close to zero, stays there for a short period of time, and then shoots back up to the normal frame rate. The DirectX to Vulcan stutters feel different. Initially, the frame rate shoots down in a similar fashion, but then the frame rate recovers over time, and this makes the stutters feel less jarring. Unfortunately, I don't have any data to back this up, because I couldn't think of a way to test this. Now let's discuss some of the issues I experienced while running DirectX to Vulkan. I have two monitors on my PC, a 2560 by 1440 for my main and a 1920 by 1200 for my secondary. And when launching Code 2 with DirectX to Vulkan, with my usual Steam launch options, which is dash window, dash full window, the game would launch on my main monitor, but at the secondary monitor's resolution. And then going in game to the graphics settings, there was no option to bump it back up to my normal much higher resolution and refresh rate. If I turned off my secondary monitor, it would launch just fine at the right resolution. However, my secondary monitor has fluorescent tube lighting, which is quite slow to turn on and off. And turning the secondary monitor off moves all my windows around, which is very inconvenient for streaming. Maybe one of you guys will know a solution to this, but I simply let it open in window mode at the wrong resolution, then use Alt Return to run it in full screen mode, which again is not ideal for streaming. Another issue for streaming, when using game capture on OBS, typically the Steam overlay does not end up showing on your broadcast. But when using DirectX to Vulkan, still with game capture enabled, the Steam overlay does show up, potentially opening up some privacy issues. Around two out of every three times I launched Co2, it was a black screen. And since I restart Co2 after every single match to try and make sure the game runs as smoothly as possible, this quickly became very annoying. I tried using Refresh 120 in the Steam launch options. That fixes the black screen issue on high refresh rate monitors, something I don't usually need to do. At the time I was playing with DirectX to Vulkan, it didn't seem to help, but now reinstalling it to make this video, I can't seem to get the black screen issue to happen again. So if you are having an issue with Code 2 launching as a black window while using this mod, it's probably worth trying out. And it seemed to cause me some issues when taking screenshots, meaning I had to alt tab out, then tab back in and take the screenshot again, and then it would show up. So all these issues combined with the performance loss on my system means that I haven't continued to use DirectX to Vulkan. And to uninstall it, simply delete the two files that we added into the game directory earlier. Before I tried DirectX to Vulkan, I got in contact with the Company of Heroes community manager to see if it would cause any issues with cheat detection, potentially opening me up to getting banned. At the time he said he didn't think it should trip cheat detection, 
and then I contacted them again around three weeks after using it and they confirmed that nothing came up. On top of that, I've heard that some of the Linux guys have been using this for quite some time, so it shouldn't get you banned, but of course I'm not going to guarantee this. Install it at your own risk. This was originally brought to my attention by Der Kuro on Reddit, so big thanks to him. And if you're looking for some more free performance in Company Furos 2, check out my video on Reshade. It allows you to use a less intensive version of anti-aliasing.